hello my fire sign. So this is going to be a weekly, your weekly reading for January 23rd through January 29th, 2022. Be sure to take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, everything that you need to know about me is down below in the description box. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. And if you are returning, thank you for returning. I love you. And what else here? Everything. Um, yeah, I just said that. Everything you need to know about me is down in, in the description box below. My social media. Um, those who have made donations and sent me gifts. Thank you so much. I love you. I appreciate you. Some of you, I don't even know who you are. But I appreciate you anyway. And just know I will pay it forward. I always do. And for the collective crystals this week, I picked selenite and three rose quartz. It's funny about these three rose quartz because um, they were a gift um, that were sent to me. I'm still not sure who sent them. But I am very appreciative for them. And so if you are the person that sent them i appreciate you and thank you all right so we're gonna do some palace santos as well clear the we, we cleared the forces out and we're bringing the good forces back in and we are gonna make this happen all right so for selenite and rose quartz Selenite is all about clearing out the bad and bringing back in the good. And I feel like collectively we have all been doing this. Like we have been sick of our own shit. We have been sick of people's shit. We have been sick of everything. And so it's like a lot of us are just doing an overhaul of just clearing everything out. And like focusing on ourselves, trying to build up that confidence within ourselves, trying to know what our worth is, trying to know that we are worthy of the things that we want to bring into our life. Rose Quartz is all about that universal love, not just love for yourself, but love for others. Have love to let go of others, but also have love to give to others. Like if you see somebody in your, you know, if you see somebody in your circle and they deserve your love, give them your love because guess what? They're going to give you back. Probably more than what you give. <laughs> you know, not that you have to think about it in that light, but it, it's just a sense of sometimes you have to release people who no longer serve you in order to allow in the people who will serve you and can serve you and want to serve you. But you have to be very conscious of that. And you have to realize this person is worth everything. This person is worth me putting my all into this. This person is worth my communication, my love, my foundation, my stability. So it's like knowing that they're going to give that back to you. It can be your motivation as to why you should be giving it in the first place. So we are going to go ahead and get started here. Timestamps are down below. Um, and we are going to get started with Aries. Hello, Aries. Aries, take what resonates to leave the rest. All right. All right, Aries. Spirit, what lovely messages do you have for my Aries babies for this week for January 23rd through the 29th? We're not going to take all these, Spirit. Can you please uh, limit it to five, please? Or six? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. All right. So far, we have the th three of cups. So there could be some kind of collaboration. This could be a celebration with family or friends. You could be celebrating some kind of milestone. We have the Nine of Cups. You are, you know, definitely in your own light of emotion. Um, I feel like you are proud of yourself when it comes to love. Maybe you're giving yourself some self-love. Maybe you have spoken your truth on a certain level and you got the response that you needed to get. We do have the King of Pentacles. Don't get hooked up in gender. 
Um, you could be dealing with a masculine energy, not not a masculine person, but a masculine energy. Somebody who knows what they want. Um, they're very stable. They are very. Um, they are very stable. They do have a good foundation. They know what it is that they want to build. But there's something about this that you're in your head about it. With the Nine of Swords, it's like you're making a mountain out of a molehill. They could be telling you something that you want and maybe it's not vibing right with you. You know, um, this could be a sense of you. I feel like you're not saying anything, Aries. It's almost like you're having these talks with this with the person and you're like, yeah, this is great. Let's do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you're really in your head and you're like, this isn't what I want. And so it's almost like you're being looked over. But the reason why you're being looked over is because you're not speaking. You're not saying what it is that you want. It's almost like they have the entire table and they are saying what they want and they are coming very clear with it. And you're just like, yeah, I want that too. But really you're in your head with the nine of swords and it's not really what you want. Or it's not the way that you want. Or maybe you feel like your needs are not being heard or your needs are not being met in certain ways. We do have the nine of pentacles here, which tells me that you want to work on your own individual foundation, your own individual, maybe a business. Maybe you're trying to bring in different kind of money or, you know, whatever it is. You have your own focus on your goals. And I feel like you're not voicing that to this person. You know, um, you're like, in, inside your head, you're like, I have this need. I have that need. This is what it is that I want to bring. This is what it is that I want in my life. But you're not voicing that to this King of Pentacles. With the Six of Swords, there is a sense of you looking at your other options. But I don't feel like you're telling the King of Pentacles this. I feel like you're afraid to talk to them about what it is that you want. Because I feel like you could be feeling as if they are overshadowing you somehow. But the thing is, is that if they're overshadowing you and you're not saying anything, Aries, then who's really putting the shadow over you? I feel like you're kind of putting the shadow over yourself in a way because you, you know, deep down in your mind and in your head, what you really want is this independence of starting your own foundation, of starting doing something for yourself. And you actually are looking at other options of how you're going to move on, but you're not bringing that to the surface. And I feel like that's stressing you out a little bit. To be living one life and, been, and be thinking about another is so entirely hard. It is so difficult. But in this case, it's like, it's almost like you're, you're, you're not wanting to go forward yet until you have it like steady and stable. But sometimes you just have to make the leap and just say what's on your mind and not string anybody along. You know, there could be something holding you back from letting this energy go. But the, it's almost like this energy has no clue and no idea about how you actually feel. Because they think everything is fine. And you're just like, yeah, yeah, everything's great. Everything's great. Everything's great. But really on the inside, it's not. And you're holding your back from, you're holding yourself back from what it is that you truly want. You have to speak your truth, Aries. Okay. Speak your truth. You are worth speaking your truth. And if this person is meant to be in your life, then guess what? They're going to be there. What's meant for you is going to be there for you. And just keep that in mind. And it might be scary to move on and do something else, especially if you want to be, you know, you want to do something individual, you know, which tells me maybe you want to break up with somebody. Maybe you want to start an endeavor by yourself. Maybe you want more time to yourself. I, whatever it is, this Nine of Pentacles is all about your independence and you doing what is right for you. Nobody else, but for you. So, the Six of Swords tells me that you see a clear, a clear view of your choices and the pathway that you could be 
taking for yourself. So that's what I have for you this week. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. Give me a thumbs up if you like your reading. Comment, subscribe. Let me know if you resonate. And I will talk to you soon. We're going to move on to Leo. Hello, Leo. Leo, take what resonates, leave the rest. All right, Spirit, what lovely messages do you have for my Leo babies for January 23rd through January 29th? See what we got going on here. We have the Two of Wands, the Six of Wands, the Five of Cups, the Ace of Wands. You keep getting this kind of reading, Leo. You're trying to move on from something. You are definitely trying to move on from something, but it's hard. This is hard. I feel like you're moving on from something that you once wanted. Um, you could be getting an opportunity to have something that you once wanted. Um, we have the Two of Wands, the Six of Wands, the Five of Cups, the Ace of Wands, Page of Cups, and the Four of Cups. So, this tells me that you do want, you, you see the two pathways. It's like you have a choice. It's almost like, do I choose myself or do I choose somebody else? Um, do I choose me or do I choose something else? But the Six of Wands, the Six of Wands is a sense of a celebration because you are making your choice or you at least see your choices. So sometimes that in itself is a fucking celebration because life is what? Confusing as fuck, okay? Sometimes we don't see what we need to see and we don't even see our options and we don't even see our choices. But right now you see them and right now that is your celebration level. So the Six of Wands is all about um, winning the round, not necessarily the battle, but you're you're winning the round of this. And I think that you actually see what it is that you want and where you want to go. It's just that you have two different things. Do I want this or do I want that? With the Five of Cups, it could be throwing you in your feels, a little bit you could be feeling like am I gonna be depressed if wh what if I make the wrong choice what if I do this what if I do that you could be in a sense of despair or regret or you're afraid that you're going to regret your decision whatever decision you decide to make Leo you're gonna have this fiery new beginning the ace of wands fiery new beginning passionate you're going to be living in your light. You are starting this new pathway that is very passionate, something that you actually, I mean, there's a fire lit under your ass and you're going for it. We have the Page of Cups, which is an idea of love. There can be an idea of love coming in. Somebody could be coming in and saying, okay, I am going to offer you some love um, let's see how we can make this work. Let's, you know, like it's the collaboration stage. Pages to me is all about collecting information. So you could be making a plan for a love connection. Somebody could be coming in and saying, okay, I'm not ready to go full kitten caboodle, caboodle yet, but here is the ideas that I have for us to make this go. Just so you know that my intentions are good. Here is my good faith payment that I want to have a new beginning with you. I want to have a love connection with you. With the Four of Cups, this could be a person that is from your past. Doesn't have to be. But you feel like, okay, I have my cups here. This person is offering me love. But it's not here yet. Okay, or this could make you feel as if this person is offering me too little and they're taking away from my worth. So that's what it's going to be when it comes to that four of cups. You're either, you know, you're either going to be okay with their small offer of this is my potential or it's a sense of this person doesn't know my fucking worth and they are taking away from me. So, you know, like they're not giving me enough. 
So just make sure that you keep your own self-worth in the forefront, Leo. Know what it is that you want. Stick with your independence. Know that, you know, connect with your higher self. Like really decide what it is that you want to do and if this is even worth your time. I'm sending you a bunch of love, light, healing, and protection. That's what I have for you this week. If you like your segment of the video, please give me a thumbs up and comment, subscribe, um, share, do what you got to do, and I appreciate you. I will talk to you soon. We're going to move on to Sagittarius. Hello, Sagittarius. All right, Sagi. Let's see what we got going on for you this week. Take what resonates, leave the rest. This is your weekly uh, reading for January 23rd through the 29th. Spirit, what do you got for my Sagittarius babies for this week? All right, so far we got the Queen of Cups. We have Dream Space. We're going to clarify that in just a moment and I'll explain that to you. We have the Three of Pentacles. We also have the Seven of Cups. Ooh, that one wanted to come out, so we're gonna take it. Uh, okay, Sedgy. Spirit, can you please clarify Dream Space? Ooh. Okay. So we have the Queen of Cups. We have Dream Space. And the clarified Dream Space is the Seven of Swords. We have Three of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Wands, the Seven of Cups, and the Ten of Swords. So things are still feeling pretty heavy. You have all these options. You got all these things flying around you and it's still feeling pretty heavy to where it's stressing you out. We have the Queen of Cups here. Now the Queen of Cups uh, could be a water sign, doesn't have to be um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, or somebody that is very nourishing, very giving, very loving. Um, could be somebody that you want in your life uh, for whatever reason. Um, could be a family member, could be a friend, could be a love interest. Just take it how it resonates for you. Um, dream space, okay? <clears throat> dream space is all in your mind of what it is that you are connecting with and manifesting in your life. And from the looks of it, from this reading, Sagittarius, you are trying to build some kind of stability. You're trying to build a some kind of money, some empire, some kind of empire. You're trying to like really build something for yourself. Like you're really trying to make things happen. I see that you're trying to make things happen. You're trying to make things a go, but we have the seven of swords here, which is a card of deceit. And I feel like this is in the back of your mind when it comes to whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. Um, with this queen of cups, if you're if you are leaning towards this energy, there is in the back of your mind that this person could deceive you. I feel as if, you know, with the Three of Pentacles here, you could be talking to them about work. You could be talking to them about um, money, some kind of foundation. Let's get this going. Um, but the thing is, is that in your mind, you know that this is not the right path. you know that this isn't the right path. There's something that has been deceitful. Even though in your mind, you're like, this makes sense. This is what makes sense to me because this is what I always do. So this is what makes sense to me. So it, it's a sense of you're doing, you're falling into an old pattern because it makes sense to you. So with the Three of Pentacles, you could be trying to build something up again with this Queen of Cups. I feel like this could be um, 
especially with the Seven of Swords. This could be somebody from your past. But the Knight of Wands, it's that immature energy. I feel like this is you. There's that immature energy of, okay, I have all these options. I have all this stuff. You know, I have all these people I can talk to. I have all this. I have all this. I have all this. But the thing is, is that it still doesn't feel good to you because you're not doing the work. It's like you start doing the work and then you stop doing the work. Then you start doing the work. Then you stop doing the work. And at some point in time, you have to continue the work. And it's like you're falling back into an old pattern of a very immature energy of I'm going to bounce over here. I'm going to see, you know, who can do something for me. Um, I'm going to go to all outside resources except going in for my my inner work. You know, um, it's like the Sagittarius. I feel like you need somebody who is going to challenge your ass. You need somebody who's going to challenge you to the point of making you question your entire fucking reality. Like, a person, you know, the thing is, is that a person who comes in like that, they're not going to let you down, and they're going to teach you what they know. Especially if they have that love for you. But the thing is, is that it's almost like you don't want to learn. You want to keep trying to make your old cycles work. Instead of going for the new. And I feel with the Ten of Swords, you have that fear. The thing is, is that all of this is almost coming to an end of a cycle, though. Because you're sick of your own shit. Just like I said in the beginning intro. If you didn't listen to the intro, go back and listen to the intro. <clears throat> it's almost like you're sick of your own shit. You're sick of all these different options. You want to hone it in. You want to bring it in. You want to make some shit solid for yourself. But you're not going to make shit solid for yourself if you keep going back to energies that are deceptive to you. People who have done stuff to you. People who have taken away from you. You can't rebuild, you know, f with somebody or something. Something foundational, something stable. It's not going to stay that way, especially if you don't trust them. With the Seven of Swords, you don't trust this person. You don't trust them. But in your dream space, you want to trust them because that's what makes sense to you. You want to trust them. You want to make this work, but it's not going to. You're sick of your own shit. You're sick of your own cycles. You are sick of it. And the thing is, is that, you know, you are trying to build something back up, but you have to grow out of this Knight of Wands. You have to start growing yourself into a king or into a queen. You have to start getting outside of your shell in order for you to make things happen for yourself. You are almost at the end of the cycle. It's almost like this might be the, the last phase for you. This might be the last draw for you to where you finally get your ass up and pick these fucking swords out of your own back and you say, you know what? I know what energy I need to have in my life. I know what I need to bring to the table and I know what I need in order for me to go forward. And you know what? Once you find that energy that's going to be that everything to you, you better fucking fight for it. Because if you don't, it's going to pass you by and you're going to be stuck. I'm so serious about this. I am sending you so much love, light, healing, and production. If you like your segment of the video, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you resonate. You need to do some work for yourself and for whoever you bring into your life, Sagittarius. Have a great week and I will talk to you soon.